Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Mike Powers. Let's begin with Travis Christie in the forecast. And we definitely got the moisture in place, so look for those flooding rains this afternoon as that moisture pushes up that good old monsoon moisture that we love so much this time of year. So basically what that's going to do for us over the next seven days, it will bring us that chance for showers at least through Monday, and then we have some drier weather moving on in towards Tuesday and warmer temperatures as well. Taos police have arrested the main suspect in the shooting deaths of two teenagers. Police say they found 18-year-old Jose Rivera at a Taos residence overnight and ordered everyone out of the home. We're told two people exited the home, and while police were watching them, a tactical team member saw Rivera hiding in a drainage pipe nearby. Police arrested Rivera without incident and turned him over to the Taos County Sheriff's Office. Authorities wanted Rivera for the deaths of 19-year-old Andres Aragon Dominguez and 17-year-old Sefron Lujan. The two were found dead early Monday inside an idling vehicle. A new New Mexico Railrunner station will be built in Albuquerque thanks to federal dollars. The city of Albuquerque will use some of nearly $7 million from the U.S. Transportation Department to build the transit hub. It will be located on Montaño between 2nd and Edith and will include a train station, a bus station, and lots of parking. Officials don't know yet when the ground will be broken. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.